All right. The Senate Majority Leader race, Rick Scott has thrown himself in. He's supported by lots of very top MAGA people. Donald Trump has not endorsed him, but no one, I think, would be under any illusions of, of who he probably favors, given his relationships with the three of them. These contests are like, like party chair races. They're inside games. And normally when outsiders try to come in, they don't succeed. It's a secret ballot. So people can tell Donald Trump, sure, I'm going to be for your candidate. If he endorsed, they don't have to be. I think this may be an exception. And, and people who cover the Hill more than I do will say I'm naive, that there are no exceptions. These are always inside contests. But I think if Donald Trump goes all in for Rick Scott, he's got a chance. But I still put my money on Thune. I, I think Thune is the establishment choice. And although there's plenty of MAGA in the Senate, there's still more establishment. Sean. Um, I think you're right on the House stuff. Um, the Senate jockeying for Secretary of State between Haggerty and Rubio is is intriguing. Um, I, it's funny because you think about, we talk about the trickle effect, right? And you think Rubio leaves, DeSantis appoints, and there's a couple avenues down there. I've heard everything from certain names that DeSantis would appoint to DeSantis steps down, Nunes becomes governor and appoints him. Um, I don't know that Trump would be cool with that, but I don't know that DeSantis cares anymore. Um, but each one of these things is like a, you move, it's like a Tetris game, you know, you're trying yep. to plug it in and then get the next one to line up. So, um, so it, it's going to be interesting. Um, and also as you move one, you kind of go, okay, now I, th that, that gets blocked out. So who else was angling for UN ambassador? Okay. Well, Elise gets that. Now they're going to all go jockey for, you know, ambassador to NATO or something. So Sean is, is, is Trump's life much better if Rick Scott's majority leader as opposed to Thune or Cornyn? I think so. So, so um, do you think he'll you think he'll go for it and try to get it for him? It's, that's you know I have been trying to figure that one out all like the last two days. Whether like part of me says that that Trump is going to look at the numbers and if they can bring to him a number where it says Rick Scott is at 17, 18, 19 votes and here's and so currently you know it's a three way race and here's who who it breaks down. Your endorsement will get him over the top. He'll do it. If if they can't show him a path to victory, I. I I'm hesitant to think that he would jump in. Um, but if 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 the Scott folks can show him that his endorsement would take him over the top in a three-way race, um, I think it's there. So, and, so, and so a specific whip count. These these are the votes you'll get if, if right. he endorses. Yeah. Right. And yeah. or or just hey, there's three away. There's no way that these senators that are going to be in cycle will defy you now, right? Um, right. I think a senator that just got reelected or that's four years out might be a little less concerning. But but the one thing I will tell you where some people are off is they say, well, these senators are insulated because they might not up they might not be in cycle. I, I still think, you know, you saw what he did to a couple of those guys, Jeff Flake and it just yeah. where, where they don't want to be on the outside at the beginning. And um, and so totally, I think totally that, agree that Scott Scott can this could this could really what's going on in the last few days with all of these people publicly coming out, whether it's Elon or Charlie Kirk for Senator Scott is huge. And I think that yeah. people are misreading the Senate by saying that senators are going to find this, you know, unappealing because it's a secret vote. Dan, can can a president in a secret vote somehow extract a commitment that's meaningful or there's no way? I think the issue is, is it going to be a secret vote? That's a party rule. You could, the next campaign I'm watching for is to bring this out in the open. If you're the outsider and, and you're saying we're going to shake up the swamp and we're going to do things differently, I would start calling for a public vote because then- That's Brilliant, well, brilliant. And then someone, in, someone in Mar-a-Lago is on the, on the horn right now saying- They would break the Senate in 30 seconds. Not a single Republican will publicly go to war with the online army and Donald Trump with maximum capital right now. I think it probably would almost be unanimous. And I think the others may even fold their tent. Wow. Yeah, I, I think whether it's a public event or we force the whip count out in public, you know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Wow, but people will lie. I oh, no, no, no. I, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I think you're like, I have a feeling that what Dan just said is going to happen in my COB. You think <laughs> You think people people would say publicly, I endorse Rick Scott for majority leader and then not vote for him? Sure, it happens in house races all the time. I remember very well the whole Rosa DeLauro, Bob Menendez. I mean, I'm dating myself now, going way back. You know, all those times Steny Hoyer thought he but, had. No, but, uh, but isn't that usually private commitments? They tell somebody privately, I'm for you, not a public declaration. Yeah, but I, I mean, don't think so. There, Big there, difference. There's no accountability. No, right? there's no accountability. I mean, but 
But it's one thing to say, I'm not telling people publicly and then to say to right. somebody, I'm with you and then not be. It's another to put out a statement on social media or a press release and say, I'm for Rick Scott. I, again, I, I know I'll be mocked by Hill people as I was last night when I raised this on Twitter for saying that this is anything but an inside game. But I, I think I, I think I, Sean and I agree, and maybe Dan does too, that Trump is just so powerful right now because of the scope of his victory. And right. and the reality is, no offense to, to the two Johns, but they are not MAGA. They're no. just not. So not why should a MAGA why should a MAGA president have a non MAGA majority leader? You know, when when there's somebody on offer. I still think Thune probably By the way, will win, but it's it's yeah. gotten flagged, but this should not go unnoticed. You know, Susie Wiles is very close to to Senator Scott as well. Oh yeah, um, and so she so you've got this confluence of connections from Rick Scott to the Trump world, um, and then obviously this outside influence is happening. I mean, Rick Scott has you know I think you always talk about we talked about it for the last few weeks, cresting at the right time in a campaign, and right now yeah. hitting into Wednesday, this is good news for Rick Scott. Yeah, I mean, and of course he ran the to GOP be. senators don't like Rick Scott. They love Thune. They love yeah. Cornyn. But that's it. Doesn't matter, right? All power lies at Mar-a-Lago. Like, absolutely. well, but that's but that's the question because normally right. it would all be an inside game. So it's going to be an interesting test, even if he doesn't formally endorse. Again, there's no ambiguity about who the MAGA candidate is.